11 million people die every year from eating bad food and not enough good food. Their doctor told them they needed to lose weight or reduce their Processed weight. meats can raise the risk of cancer. cancer. It causes heart, heart disease. disease. And and the meat. fats and the red meats and diet, come on. It's so complicated. Every single cell in your body is made from the food that you eat. And most people don't understand the connection between it how they feel, and what they eat. We've all heard that meat is destroying our health. But what if the truth was far more complex? There's a lot more to be gained from red meat than there is risk. It's not the enemy we thought it was. Nutrition science outside the body is influenced by our culture, by ethical environmental concerns, by religious ideology, and by vested interests. On the expert committee for the most recent guideline, 95% had at least one tie with the food or pharmaceutical industries. The devil's always in the details with these kinds of studies. More than 20 review papers, and they have almost universally concluded that saturated fats are not associated with heart disease and that they have no effect on cardiovascular total mortality. Individuals are demonizing whole foods in order to offer processed fake meats. And it's ultimately vice for which there is no precedent. It's an experiment. And what if, rather than being a dietary villain, meat could actually improve your health? Meat is what actually made us have such great, powerful brains. The closer we can get to that, like what did our ancestors eat, the, the healthier we're going to be. Beef is one of the healthiest things that you can eat. Literally looking at the most safe, nutrient-dense bioavailable food humans have ever known. And they're like, really red meat was a part of my healing journey. And what if certain types of meat can even restore planetary health? It's horrific the way we're treating them in factory farming. Yeah. That's what should be criticized, not the ranchers who are doing their best to, to manage the animals humanely. When we start to profile uh, beef or, or chicken or other products from pasture finished or, or feedlot finished, you do see substantial differences. And what if remaining confused could cost us the health of people and the planet? And some of the consequences can be irreversible. MRI of these infants, you'll actually see cerebral atrophy, so brain shrinkage. It's not a risk that I think is worth taking. In this series, we'll discover the surprising origins of our fear of meat, the truth about its shaky scientific foundation, and how you can identify meat that improves both human and planetary health. It's time to rethink meat.